Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at how a beekeeper would utilize a thermal camera, specifically the FLIR camera for a phone, uh, to help uh, with inspection of their hives and uh, various other usage in the uh, apiary. Okay, so we're now going to use our new FLIR thermal camera. We've attached it to our iPhone, and what we're looking at here is Inside our honey shop, we have that observation hive, which you've seen on a previous video. But we really want to show you the benefits of owning a thermal camera as a beekeeper. It allows you to really assess your hives during the winter to make sure that they still have a, an active cluster and are uh, maintaining what their size looks like of that cluster, or maybe they moved around in the, in the honey super or in the main brood box if you have a different setup. But what I'm showing you here is what it would look like if we use this camera um, to show the thermal heat that bees put off. Remember, during the winter time, bees don't hibernate, they cluster, and then they shiver of sorts um, so that they keep the inner core of the cluster warm to about the 93 degrees required temperature in order for the queen to continue to actively lay a small amount of brood. Remember, the bees don't have a lifespan that will take them through most winters end to end. So the, the queen will still continue to need to have um, some new bees to be, new brood to be, uh, to emerge to replace the one that died. So this, uh, these thermal cameras, this one particular by FLIR is, is fairly affordable. Um, several thermal cameras can range anywhere from 500 to 1,000 plus. This is a few hundred dollars. And I'll put a link in the description uh, of the exact one I'm using. So if you'd like to purchase it on Amazon, you can do that. Uh, let's take a look at what it looks like when we open up the hive. So you can see the heat that's being put off just on the outside of the observation hive. If I open it, and there's my um, inner wrap that I have. And let's pull this back. It's dark in here, so the bees should still remain in cluster. But you'll see... That's what the cluster would look like inside of a hive. And the inside core, again, can get as high as 93 degrees where the brood is. The outside layers get cooler as it goes out. So if we now turned on the light and observe the bees where you could see them, You'll see this is what they would look like. Okay, so this is what they look like without the thermal camera. And you can see that they are clustered up in a ball and they're continuing to keep the brood warm. The queen is probably on the inside frame. I saw her here earlier today, but looks like she's moved to the inside. Where they're clustering around her to keep it that brood warm. Temperatures again right around 93 degrees in the center. We're gonna close them up. And we're gonna take a walk out in the apiary and look at some of the colonies in our apiary. Okay, so we've come out to the apiary here and we're gonna kind of move along looking at some of our colonies. Um, keep in mind that you know the box temperatures on the outside should be fairly cold. It's about 30 degrees outside. It feels like 27 with the wind chill. Um, so the colonies that have Bees clustered in a pretty tight cluster like we did inside will should show up um, on your FLIR device. Now the heat, there is heat between these hives. So I nest my colonies close together during the winter. You'll notice there's heat really on the ground, which is the heat coming down from the screen bottom boards. So they're pushing heat out of the bottom. Uh, and then there's, you can also notice the heat underneath coming out from under the covers. And then between the hives, it tends to be stay a little warmer as well. So this, you know, is one thing that you can consider when you place your hives. Uh, a lot of people like to keep every hive spaced apart. You know, here at the Bohemia Apiary, we tend to put our hives really right next to each other. You know, naturally there are some considerations you want to keep in mind during a dearth, you know, with robbing as well as, you know, management of your pests and transmission through drifting. But, you know, that's a whole other discussion. But we do find that the colonies that are nested together can benefit by that transfer of heat during the winter. Um, when you come down here and you look at, here's an example of a colony that's got a really strong cluster. 
at the and they've moved up already to that that super so they're not down the bottom they've actually moved up a lot of that's because i leave the screen bottom boards open during the winter that's just a what we do here a lot of people close them halfway or use solid bottoms we found that the screen bottoms open up year round for us work really well uh, so that's what we're going to do um, and a lot of our colonies do really well through the winter here on the eastern shore of maryland again the heat being being created from these colonies you can see on the side of that box now they're still down in the deep there's these are two deep mediums or not i mean two deep uh nuke boxes and you can see in this particular one the heat that that colony and the size of that colony in those two deeps we really like that setup and we'll do another video about you know what that looks like uh why we chose and why we were successful with the the double nuke deep uh kind of setup through the winter but that's a good example of you know that size of that colony um here's another one right here this is another double deep you can see the heat from the colony um, and you know we can continue to show all our colonies as we progress down uh, but it's a good way for a beekeeper to determine hey do i still have an active colony though this one you can see doesn't have as large of a brood um, heat signal so this may be a smaller colony and it's in a it's in a deep 10 frame so maybe they've now reduced in size pretty drastically and hopefully we'll be able to make it through the winter but that is uh, a smaller signal um, there's one down on the end down here that we've painted with a different coating on the outside so i'm curious to see if it would actually would show up the heat signal but it looks like it has so it looks like the bees here they're not really thick but they're providing a little bit of a heat signal in the front corner of the box front right corner of the box um, again that's where they probably are, are clustered up so that's really why you would want to use a FLIR uh, infrared device on your colonies i've not opened any of these colonies during the winter in this cold temperature yet i'm able to see if there is an active uh any activity or heat signal looks like they have a smaller heat signal there in the middle of the box maybe towards the front uh, but it's, we're able to kind of quickly assess your colonies and to see if they are uh, still surviving um, and where they're at and and moving you can see it's interesting you look at this side of the box it's really cold and dark and then you look at this side of the box and you can see that heat signal down there so it's another example of what we like to use here as tools in the apiary i hope you found it informative uh the other thing you can use these for is cutouts right so if you were someone who offers that service in your community and you wanted to be able to locate a cutout you've probably seen a few of our videos prior uh to be able to do a cutout uh, and use this FLIR thermal camera device to do that so i'll put a link on the uh, description below so if i hadn't mentioned already you can pick one of these up on amazon for pretty cheap um, definitely click that link and, and be able to pick yours up and use yours for your and your calling they come in pretty handy well thanks for watching i appreciate everyone um, following us along on uh, on our social media whether it be facebook whether it be you know twitter and tiktok and instagram whatever your your social media you know preferences we love to build, make these videos and publish them on, on YouTube. So continue to support us. Make sure you share the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and then follow us on all the other social media platforms. Because right here at Bohemia Apiary, remember, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.